Welcome to the Solid Cam University channel. This video's topic is deburring or side cutting with a lollipop. Um, so you've seen in a previous video where we used the HSS toolpath and a lollipop cutter to do an undercut. Here, we're gonna see how we can use HSS once again and the same lollipop, uh, but to do some, some deburring on the inside of a hole. And you can see this part here, it has six holes that go through the slot and we need to deburr the inside of the hole. Now, the original solid has these sharp edges here. In order to use HSS, we're gonna need surfaces. So I need to actually add a surface that we can use to deburr. Uh, in this case, basically just a really small chamfer. And I've actually done that on the hole that we're gonna machine. So we actually have two things going on here. You can see there's a surface here that I've added to the solid, and there's a bit of uh, an invisible solid, kind of a translucent solid there. And that is a second solid that I've added. If I just go to the feature manager, it's a second solid that I've added to represent the original piece, the one without the chamfer. I'm gonna use that as my stock in this model, in this file, simply because I just wanna show you how I would do the, uh, the deburring. Um, so the design model has the, has the chamfer on it, uh, but to add the chamfer, let me just do that real quick so you can see how it's done. So right click on design model, click on the edit part icon. So we're inside of the design model. And we're just going to go to features under fillet is the chamfer command. I'm going to add a two thou chamfer and let's do it on the opposite hole. So just this hole right here, just click on the edge. You'd like to add the chamfer. There's a little bit of a profile there, a little preview of it. Uh, it shows us what the chamfer is going to look like. Just click on the green check mark. And now I've added a really small chamfer to that. So that will represent the final deburred part. That's what I want it to look like. Okay, we'll return over here. So now we have a surface we can use in an HSS toolpath. So I'll just go add milling, HSS. In this case, we're gonna use parallel to surface only because it's pretty simple. I'm just gonna to choose two, uh, two surfaces to define this toolpath. First is the drive surface, which is the chamfer surface that we created. Second is the edge surface. This one right here. So we're gonna make tool paths that are parallel to the surface. Now we're gonna do this as a deburr. So I don't actually have to step along that, that chamfer surface. I just wanna have some sort of tool path that just kind of loops around. So I'm gonna change this from full avoid cuts at exact edges to determine by number of cuts. In this case, just one. So we're just gonna do a single pass. It'll deburr the part easy enough. Let's go to tool and we'll choose our tool. In this case, I've defined it as a one eighth ball or one eighth lollipop tool. You can see my dimensions there. So I'll click on the green check mark. Levels, in this case, I could do some fancy stuff here, but this is gonna be good enough. It's just gonna approach from the Z axis. Toolpath parameters don't apply here because we're doing it by number of cuts, I'm just gonna to go to sorting and make sure that it's in one way. Okay, jump to link. Because we're gonna be doing an undercut, I always wanna make sure that my lead in lead out is added to make sure I don't gouge the part on the way in or on the way out. In this case, on my first entry, I'm gonna say use lead in, and my exit, use lead out. And I define those lead in lead out under the default lead in lead out section. And I'm just gonna choose something that will make sure it approaches from uh, a good angle. In this case, I'm just gonna come out at 90 degrees. I'll just do a orthogonal line. And the orthogonal line, I'm gonna make it approach from let's say 20 thou away. Now, of course, we're doing undercut. We wanna make sure we don't gouge anything. So we're gonna to go to gouge check. So we'll enable slash disable. Gouge check against the tool shaft and the tool tip. Strategy, we're just gonna relink the tool path. If there is any gouges, we'll check against the drive surface and the check surfaces that I select here. And to make it simple, I'll just click on the all faces adjacent to drive faces. In this case, pretty much just the internal face and this external face, just to make sure we don't gouge those. So, save and calculate. It's in the slot, so we won't be able to see it unless I angle it around. And if we just take a look at this, it does a nice loop around the part, around the hole, and there's my orthogonal lines, entry and exit. And there's the 20 thou right there. So it basically just comes down the center of the slot, approaches the part, loops around, and exits back to that same space. If we take a look at that in Solid Verify. 
So as you can see, the original solid I added and I've chosen it as my stock using the 3D model option. So you see the sharp edge is still there. And let's deburr that. Comes in, loops around. If we take a look at that through that hole there, you'll see that I've actually just added a chamfer. Okay, so that's how we use HSS and the lollipop tool to deburr an internal hole. Now we've got these other holes to do though. So how would we do that? Well, we can use the transform command, translate matrix, because we have a repeating action. We'll include the original operation. We're gonna go in the X direction six times with a step of 250. That's the distance between those holes. And if we just click save, we now have the six holes deburred. Okay. If we wanted to, we could basically do the same thing for the other hole right there in many ways. I could either do a copy of that, just open that up, do a save and copy, reselect all the geometries and such. Um, I could try and do some transforms as well. Many things you can do when you want to repeat an action. If you see a pattern, you can use the transform or the mirror command to repeat it. But in this case, I'm just gonna do it by reselecting the geometries. So let's just get a good look at that. Open this guy up. Save and copy. Go back to my geometry. So it is just that surface. The surface right here. Everything else will be the same except for a gouge check. We'll need to reselect that. So I'm just basically repeating the same action with some of the stuff already selected. Even the, the transform is, is attached as well. So as soon as I do that, we have all 12 holes machined. So that's how we would do that, deburring of an internal hole using HSS and a lollipop cutter. Any questions on this or anything else from SolidCam, you can always call us at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts, your questions via the ticket system at solidcamsupport.com, or stay tuned for the rest of the videos on the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.